Hello, and welcome to our 2016 How Far Away Is It update. 2016 was another good year for expanding our knowledge of the universe. We'll start out in the solar system, where we had a solar flare, Mars reached opposition, the Juno probe reached Jupiter, and the Rosetta mission ended. Then we'll move out into the Milky Way, where Gaia has a major update for us. We'll take a look at some nebula and star systems, and we'll go into magnetars. I'll explain what a magnetar is. And then that will drive us into a deep dive into how we developed the Milky Way rotation curves with kinematic distance and radio astronomy in order to see through the core of the galaxy to what's going on on the other side. Then we'll move out into galaxies beyond the Milky Way, nebula inside orbiting galaxies, some beautiful galaxies nearby and far away. We'll take a good look at a survey that has changed the way we view the number of galaxies that there are in the universe. We'll end with a segment on the Palomar Observatory. I went there this summer, and I was briefed on a new facility called the Zwicky Transient Facility, where they can map the whole sky in one night, do it again the next night, compare the images for anything that may have changed, do this all through the year, accumulate it, and share it. So that's very interesting, and we will hear more about the results of the Zwicky Transient Facility in 2017. So let's start at the center of our solar system. 